Hi everybody. So I'll just give you a couple of seconds to um, while the audience builds up one second. And uh, I just need to go and get some kitchen roll, just one second. I'll do that. You want me to say something? Uh, absolutely, come on, Give me a minute. I'm not so <laughs> Sorry, I disappeared then. I needed some kitchen roll, but you know what, I'll forget it, I'll carry on. So, uh, welcome tonight, Monday, Facebook Live. I'm so pleased that you've joined us. And tonight, I've got uh, Gwen back with me again. Um, Gwen's got some really exciting news about the uh, DK applicator. And uh, for the first time, Gwen has actually never sugar pasted um, a cake before. So she's done that by herself, just by watching Kim's cake. So when Kim was here, um, a few weeks ago, Gwen was watching her, and then she said, you know what, Carol, I'm gonna go doing this myself tonight, and I'm gonna use the DK applicator, and I'm gonna show everybody about it, so we're quite excited about Very that. Very excited, yes. Are you nervous? Not really, no. She's been cool as a cucumber all day, <laughs> which is really good. So I thought I would do something with nifty nozzles. So, John, is there a problem? No? <laughs> okay. Everything's good. So, <laughs> John doesn't have yes. pull some funny faces when he's behind the camera. So, um, We've so already what, got 60 people viewing, so we're doing well. Oh, we're great, yeah. fantastic. Yes. So what I thought is, is that I would do something tonight with the nifty nozzles. Now, um, lots of people always ask me about um, which are the best nozzles to buy, and they'd like a good selection. So on the website, I actually put um, a selection of 15 nozzles together, because there's so many. And I do say to you all, you do not need to buy every one. Um, so what I've done is I've put a pack together of 15, and that pack together costs about £50 if you bought them individually. On the website, they are £36.99 for the 15 nozzles. That's four nifty nozzles and a Wilton 352 leaf tip. And don't worry if you've got that 352 Wilton leaf tip, because the more you've got, the better. And then if you buy this week, everybody who buys the bundle this week, I'm actually going to give them a free extra large posy, which is worth 4 99 So you're actually making a £20 saving in total. So this afternoon, I quickly decorated these. So this is what's uh, made through the bundle. So while John has a look through them, I'll go through them with you. Now, I just, all I've done is just done these as basic decorating. I've used the colour splash range. So if we start here, with this one, can you zoom in John? So all I've done here is I've used the scented tulip with this one, so it's quite a pretty one. And it's always nice to two-tone as well, and that's the scented tulip nozzle there. And if we come down, this is the romance rose. Now I've not actually put any um, berries on, I've just used the leaf. This is the fine grass string nozzle, and again it's quite effective. We've got the seven petal rose, We've got the Carnation Large. Again, I've slightly two-toned that. So you can see that nice effect. How lovely is that effect there? Okay. Um, we've also got the Jasmine, which is here. And then we've got the Summer Tulip. Next one down, Summer Tulip. The Five Petal Tulip. Now this is the firecracker. Now you can do this as a set like this, or you can just do it as one big one. So you'll see that I put three colours into this one as well. Then we've used the garden rose, at which we put the darges in, and Kim actually used oh, Kim. Gwen. Gwen actually used her applicator to put those in. Um, normally I'm dropping them in with uh, tweezers, and they usually ping off. And then we've got the rose cup here. Got the rose cup. And then we've got the Bloomin' Marvellous, which I've two-toned. And then this one is called the um, Blushing Bloom. And then we've put one of the extra large nozzles in here. Now this is the Rose Twist. And if you remember, Laura was here a few weeks ago and she actually used this nozzle, the Rose Twist, to actually make the Pavlovas. So if you remember those, she made some lovely little Pavlovas that she put together. And that makes this really nice ice cream effect. I have two-toned it with a white in the middle, but um, you know it makes a nice ripple on there. And that's called the Rose Twist. And I've got buttercream on my fingers. And then this one here, this is a bonus one. So when you go on the website, we put the links on the website as well. When you go on the website, you get the 15 nozzles, which is the four nifty nozzles, and the Wilton 352. 14 nifty nozzles. What did I say? Four. Did I say four? I thought I said 14. Said four when twice. I do, did I? When I do replay, I'll check that. 
John. <laughs> You'll find you said it twice. <laughs> I doubted myself last time, but I was sure this time. <laughs> okay, ladies and gents, you get 14 nifty nozzles and a Wilton 352. So this is a great starter kit. So for all you ladies who can't make up your mind which nozzles you want, you know, you've got roses in here, you've got tulips in here, you've got the ones that can make the ice cream effect in here. And then... Anybody who buys this week, it's not on the website, but it, the boys will just add it to the order. So anybody who buys this set this week, they'll get the posy as well, which is the extra large, which, which is fantastic. So before you ask, because I know you're always going to ask, what colours have I used? Well, this is the colour range that I've used, so you know that I'm a big fan of the colour splash. Okay, there's 29 colours in the whole range. We do sell them in sets in bundles, so we sell them in greens, we sell them in reds, blues, uh, we sell the new, uh, the, I think it's called naturals, we sell them as the whole lot, 29, 29 in a set. The ones that I've used tonight, in all the, those 15 are those ones there. So that's leaf, lime, peacock, pink, sunflower, violet and orange. So that's what I've used tonight. And then, just in case you're starting to think of Christmas, because I keep seeing all these um, notifications about how many sleeps we've got for Christmas. So I did mention these to you last week. These are great gifts. These are bone china, by the way. They're made by Crown Trent. They're absolutely perfect gifts, they are. Can they go in the microwave? No, they can't. You shouldn't put bone china in the microwave. So this one here is for marshmallows, uh, hot chocolate and marshmallows. So you can see it's got hot chocolate there. So you've got hot chocolate, a nice jug of hot chocolate there, and then put your marshmallows on the side. Something for dad, a soup and a roll. Okay, so that's a nice one for him, soup and a roll. And this one, I love this one. This one's mulled wine and a mince pie. And um, that's great there. If you do have a mince pie, have our... Um, Christmas punch icing sugar on it or we've actually discontinued cinnamon swirl but if you've got any cinnamon swirl dust some of that on it or make it into a buttercream drop and let that drop and melt over your hot mince pie. We've got the piping bags in okay because I always tell you about using the small piping bags and those are in and then on top of that Gwen is using the Renshaw sugar paste tonight because um, this is really easy to use. In fact, all our sugar paste is really easy to use. But because of the colours, and she didn't want to colour them, which she's used the Renshaw Ready to Roll icing. So she's used the navy on one of her cakes, the grey and the poppy red. So before you all ask me. And then let me take you round the other side. So if I meet John round the other side there. So a couple of weeks ago, we had Kim here, who's... Um, a friend of Gwen's who's actually made, who actually made these, decorated them. Um, she decorated them on the afternoon before we went live. And then she did this layer on the show. And then she made this cake, okay? So the, the, all these um, tools we've got in stock, they're called Press Ice Tools by FMM. And they're actually on the website. They're $7.99 each, but they make life very, very easy. This one here is the Drake tool, and this has just come in, Press Ice Tool. And then the diamonds, I know quite a lot of you have asked me for the diamonds. Well, Gwen and I have invested and we've actually, these were actually discontinued, but we've had a chat with FMM and they're actually making them for me and Gwen, which is great. So we're really happy about that. And Marissa in Florida. That's right. Yep, so we mustn't forget Marissa either. So uh, they're bringing the diamond one. So we should have that back in four weeks because it works fabulous. John's rolling his eyes. He didn't know he'd invested in those. So, and then Gwen has now sourced her pearls. Now with the applicator, you need, you do need the best quality pearls, okay? So, you, you know, I think Gwen will tell you a little bit more about these, but these are the pearlescents, okay? They're three pound a tub and they're for a hundred grams. So do be careful because there's some companies that sell them with less. Um, ours are 100 grams and they're three pound a tub. So those are the pearl essence. Those are the three, four colors that she's doing at the moment. And then we've got the metallics here. Again, they're three pound as well. And these are, these are the recommended darges for the um, applicator. So again, Gwen will explain to you why these are the preferred ones. Yeah, or the recommended. So I can hear Gwen in the background, but she'll explain that in a minute. Okay, so they're on the website for sale now. Excuse the pictures, but our photographer's not been yet. So we just quickly took some pictures tonight and put them on. But the proper professional pictures will be on later on in the week. 
So what I'm just going to do now, I'm just going to take you over to Gwen, okay? And she is just going to have a talk to you about the press ice tool and what it's doing. And how we're doing not the press ice tool, but the adapter. Yeah, the, the DK. So for those who are following the Dragic Kiss um, journey, um, I posted on the um, Facebook page that I went last week to our factory in Enfield to um, go and check on T0. So when you bring a product to the market, um, they're manufacturing from big injection mold blocks. They um, have to test them to make sure that the blocks work as they hoped that they would work. So this is our T0 samples. For all those that have placed pre-orders via the fundraiser, this is not the product that's on the market yet, so please don't get confused. No one has them yet. These are samples from the factory called the T0 samples. Um, we now have, have a week to put it through its paces to test it. picked up on a couple of improvements that we want to make to the, um, to the tool. So those are being done as we speak. The, the people are working on those. Um, they're working as hard as they can to get this tool out to us still for the deadline or the, the, um, the anticipated date, as we've said, at the end of September, start of October. So um, keep your eyes, please keep your eyes on the Gradual Kiss um, Facebook page. I will post in this coming week another update just to let everyone know how we're doing. But this is T0 of our um, tool and we're putting it through its paces at the moment. Thank you very much for the opportunity, Carol. No, we're glad to have you here. So, John, do you want to just come around and um, I'll tell you what I'll do. So, because I was going to use the nozzles, that, um, use the nozzles, I'm just going to go back through to basics about making buttercream because a lot of you do ask me how to make the buttercream, and I only use a very simple buttercream recipe. Um, there's loads of recipes out there. You just have to find one that suits you. So, I just thought I'd quickly show you how I make my buttercream, and it couldn't be any more simpler. Now, because it's the summer and you can leave your butter out overnight to soften. Um, we don't need to add anything to it, but we'll talk about what, we, what we're gonna do shortly when the winter nights are coming, because it is getting a bit colder. So the butter, so you'll see this is really lovely and soft. Okay, all I've done is, I always make a minimum of one kilo of um, um, buttercream. I call it one kilo because I use one kilo of icing sugar. But technically, in weight, it's actually 1,500 because it's a kilo of icing sugar and 500 grams of butter. So um, I, I would always use a minimum of 500 grams of butter and a kilo of flavoured icing sugar. If you want to use plain icing sugar, go ahead, that's not a problem. But um, I like using our flavoured icing sugar because it's got a nice consistency and keeps the flavour nice and even all the way through. So let me just show you how soft this is. So it's nice and soft, and I do tend to beat the living daylights out of it. Now this is virgin, virgin just on the too soft side, okay? But we'll manage with it, we will manage, okay? So people are always asking me, you know, does it have to be really soft or does it have to be really firm? Um, it shouldn't be firm. When you put it in your piping bag, if it's hard to squeeze, and you've got to put a lot of pressure on, that's too firm and you don't want it like that. All that's going to happen is your nozzle's going to pop out your bag. So what Gwen and I thought we would do tonight is, is that we'll do a bit of a question and answer session, okay? Now that's going to put John on the hop because that means he has to read out all your messages. But um, what you need to remember is we have a 30 second delay, okay? So even though you're typing your message, we don't read it for 30 seconds. And it's quite funny, because when I've been doing the classes here, I've actually been explaining it to the other ladies. And we've actually just been totally silent and we've waited for 30 seconds. Well, try doing it yourself how long 30 seconds is. And it's quite a long time. So if you do ask a question and I don't answer it, it's not that I'm ignoring you, it's just that I've got to wait for it to arrive for us to see it, because you see it before us. So, um, John hasn't actually shouted out any shout outs yet of anybody who's here, any of our regular visitors. So while I'm talking and I'm going to let him shout out a few names, all I've done now is I've put a kilo of icing sugar into the bowl and I'm going to chop it in. Okay, now the reason I chop it in is that I use the KitchenAid and the KitchenAid doesn't have a particularly good cover. It does have a shield, but personally I think it's a waste of time. Um, it doesn't stay on. 
and um, and it's faffs about all over the place. So it just, you know, it's pointless. So you can do two things, okay? You can either chop in the icing sugar into the softened butter, which is what I'm doing now. And this is my preferred way. Or you can use a dry or damp tea towel, put this in the machine, put the dry or damp tea towel over your machine, hold it tightly and gently pulsate. But we're gonna do it this way. So John, do you wanna shout out a few hellos? Yeah, we've got Melanie Grant. Hi Melanie. Jo I see Melanie always sends me messages, so I know who Melanie jo is. Joanna Milligan Birkin, Nancy Craig, Pam Kerchek, Ria Kessel, Lindsay McIver. So Maria, all our loyal regulars then. Ria Kessel. <laughs> Hi Ria. Dale Clark Blackler, Judy oh, Smith. Let me just tell you about Dale. Dale's not in this country, is he? So if Dale lets us know where he was, because yeah, he said something last week on Facebook and I noticed he said he was from somewhere else, but I don't know where. But he, he comes and watches every week. I think it's a he, or is it a she? I don't know. Because Dale here in the UK is a male name, isn't it? So I'm sure we'll get a response. -E yeah. So uh, we've got uh, Julie Smith, Deborah Hackett, Louisa Paris, Claire Miller. Hi. Tracy Haswell Oosthuizen. Do you know that one? That sounds like a South African It story. does. Yeah. There's a couple here that I see that I would like to say hi to. Can I? Can I say hi? Yeah. So I can see Annalise is there again. We said hello last time. Hi Annalise. Hi Veronica. Veronica from Italy is watching. Do you want to speak? Do you want to mention who Annalise is? Oh, Annalise is the person that um, that accompanied me to um, to the Dortmund show. She came and fetched me at the um, Düsseldorf airport. So is she Annalise. Cake supplies? No, no, you, uh, you're thinking of someone else. Yeah. But anyway, so, and Rachel! Hi, Rachel! And we've got, um, there's someone else. So Veronica is watching from Italy. And um, let me see, there was uh, someone else there I saw. Annalise is there, yes. Um, Robert Allen's here tonight. Oh, hi, yes, Rob. Rob is there. Lynn Feather, Salma. And, um, hi, Salma. Salma's oh, not been around for a while. And Deep. Deep from India is watching. Hi, Deep. I'm so sorry we didn't get to do our Facebook Live at um, Take International. Antra from Latvia. Yeah. Oh, wow. So is that where Antra's from then, Latvia? Mm -hmm. Oh, right, fantastic. Um, and we've got a, a newbie, Victoria Elizabeth Bering. Hello, Victoria. From well, Bristol, from Wolverhampton, Sarah and Mick. And yeah, Deep is there, I've said hi. Who else is there that we know? But definitely Rachel is there, she's watching and Rachel is from the old, uh, old Piping Dark. You've got some of Oh, yeah, yes, I know Rachel's Rachel. Rachel watching. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rachel's Rachel. watching. Good. And so it's Dale uh, said where they're from. No? Lost is it going too fast? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's lit, like really going too fast. So <laughs> it's lots of love hearts and hi, everyone. So, guys, slow down because yes, the message feed is going so fast and John's not keeping up with it. <laughs> There's someone from Seville. Cool in Dorset. Thank you for watching, everybody. Yeah. So anyhow, so everybody, we are really pleased that you've joined us, and there's so many regulars there, which is really fantastic. So it's lovely to see Rob. I don't know whether Jackie's here. Jackie sometimes doesn't get to watch us on a Monday, but she always watches us the following day. So it's great that all you guys are here. So I'm actually just going to do a, um, a couple of things with the nifty nozzles. So let me just show you where I'm up to with the buttercream. Okay, so I've actually chopped the, chopped the ice and sugar in so you can see that it's all chopped in now. Okay, and then I'm going to give it the blast of its life. Yeah, so I don't need to put the tea towel on simply because I've actually chopped in so I won't get that cloud burst. So I'm just going to give it a little mix, get it going. And that's as simple as making buttercream. Okay, so I know you Americans tend to make... Um, F -F Buttercream and it's Swiss man buttercream, but here in the UK we just tend to maybe make a simple basic buttercream. So all I'm going to do is give it a really good beat. Geraldine's late because it's the dog's birthday. We've Whose birthday? A, the dog's birthday. The dog's birthday. <laughs> Actually, what day is it today? Is it the fourth? Yes. Talking of dog's birthdays, it's our Chip's birthday tomorrow. Oh. So he's um, he's nine tomorrow, Chippy. That's our little Jack Russell. So anybody who's been here met little Chip, everybody adores him. He's our smallest Jack Russell. And um, 
He's the one who causes all the trouble in the house, but everybody adores him. We've got Rhodesian Ridgebacks that everyone's scared of, who are, who's really soft. Oh, that's and the little Jack, no they're, no, they're nice, but people sort of look at them like cautiously until they've seen them. But the little Jack Russell, who everybody adores and wants sat on their knee, um, he, he he's, he's the little trouble one. So anyhow, so here we go. So normally I whip this for some time, but because the butter's really soft, so I just want you to see how soft this is, okay? I can't, it's very difficult on the camera to sort of play with it, but it really is, I can't make it any softer than that. So when I see everybody say it's got to be really firm, it hasn't. So any of you who make rose swirls, and I know Rhea Kessel makes rose swirls all the time on her cakes, that is the consistency that you need for the nifty nozzles. Really nice and soft like that. So um, I'm going to just quickly crumb coat a small cake over there that I've got. And while I'm doing that, um, I'm going to let Gwen come back and tell you a little bit more about the applicator and yes, how it and works. I'm going to show people how easy it is to use the FMM press ice tool. That's right. And then I'm going to come back to you and show you how to use nifty nozzles. So if you want to go over to Gwen, does anybody want to ask anything, John? Has anybody got any questions? Not at the moment, no. Mmm, tasty. Alrighty guys, so you'll see, um, John, I think you can catch this now. Um, this was my first time working with um, sugar paste. So you've got finger marks all over, I call it art. And um, down here on the, on the board you'll see that I followed um, Kim's, I've just put my fingernail through the paper. But that's good though, to tell them when. Have yes, you, no, absolutely. Never I, I've never worked with um, sugar paste on my own before. Last week I worked with Kim, uh, not last week, a couple of weeks ago Kim and I was playing around. Um, but this time I was on my own and Carol said, um, I'm not going to step in until I really see you panic. And I'm not a panicking <laughs> kind, so not, no panics. But as you can see... Lots of fingerprints and artwork there. Um, I've started to do the, the diamond at the bottom, and then this one is called the, um, the drape. So let me show you quickly. As Carol said before, this one went out of stock, and um, FMM discontinued it, but we've managed to convince them yeah, to, bring it, to bring it back. And we're really pleased to tell you guys that this one is back now. Um, in a moment, John perhaps can just show people how otherwise, if you don't, don't mind, John, um, this one, because it's just a, a basic one for tonight, I've just used one colour, but this is the diamond one as well. So I've used some smaller ones there and some blue ones and gold ones just to get the um, effect. And then the other one, just stay there, John. The other one that we're using tonight, I haven't done this one yet, but um, it's this one, it's called um, Zigzag. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Anyway, this one is another one that's coming back into, we've also convinced them to bring this one back, so that one will come as well. Um, I mean, this is just a simple, um, what they call, um, what's it called again? Um, do you remember the, this one? Um, qu quilting. This bottom one is quilting. That's the diamond one, this is the zigzag, then this is just a heart freestyle and some other ones. So, and that one over there is the zigzag as well, which will come back into stock. We've done it placed in order, Carol and I have done it together. So, um, over here, if we can show people how easy it is to work with this. So, Kim showed me really well. Is this a good angle for you? Yes. So, basically, um, don't, and this is why, if you just scan back here, do you see the white on top? I had stacked all my um, layers ready to do the decoration tonight, and then I realized, then I realized that unfortunately, the, um, what Kim had told me is something I've forgotten. To, to keep your level straight, you need to actually use um, a clear one, not one that's covered. And um, then you need to just bear with me one second. You have to use your. Um, I don't know what this is called. <laughs> I don't have the terminology for the cake world, but anyway, this thing. Can you see it? This thing. <laughs> what is this? Smoother. smoother. <laughs> use the smoother. Hold on to it. Don't press too hard on it, but just to hold it down. And of course, we are working with dummies because um, we just want some demonstration cakes. This is not real cake. Um, and then you use the bottom of your um, your cake drum. Um, and you then have a choice. You can either turn it that way around if you want it on the bottom or that way around to have it a little bit higher up. And then also what you need to do is you need to find the back of your cake, the one that's a little bit less perfect than the rest. Now, my cake is a bit difficult because it's all not so perfect. But anyway, we have a crack 
<gasps> Are we allowed to say that for real on the show? <laughs> We have a crack. There's our crack. So I'm gonna. This is my back of my cake. So you start on the back of your cake, and you push your your press ice tool. You start on one side, press it in, and then. Cassandra. Barbara Rahel said everyone's so far away, and she's from Denton, which is around the corner. Oh from wow! Here. So. so there you've made your first impression, and it's on the crack. And then you find again the line, just there. Am I right? Remember now we're live and it's lots of pressure, so this is not going to be perfect, but this is how easy it is. That's the pleasure of being live. Glenn. Yeah, exactly, it is. So when you've got time and you've practiced a little bit, then it becomes easier. There we go. So again, find your line. Hang on. Oh, golly. I think it's about there. And then go around. And see, this is where it becomes important when you come to your, the back of your cake. Then it doesn't matter so much if it doesn't line up perfectly. And then again. Oh, we've got a couple of people joining us from Brazil. Oh, wow. Right. We've got yeah. Rosanette and Giselle. Hello, oh, Rosanette and Giselle. So then, as you can see, that one didn't line up. But it's the back of your cake. And remember, if you've practiced and you've done your thing, then, you, then you're a bit, quick, a bit better at doing that. So there we go. That's my top layer. Hang on, let's see if we can get this thing off. Ha ha ha. Like that. See, it's all professional. Yeah. Then, you, then again, you need to find the back of your cake. Now, this is the back of my cake on this side. So where did we say our crack is? There's our crack. So then you pop it on. Now, let's see if we can get this thing off. Hold on. Like that. And no fingerprints. No fingerprints here. There we go. There we go, so that's how easy it is to use these, really, really easy. And of course, the more you practice, the more it becomes perfect. Well, I think you've done smashing. Oh, thank you, you Carol. You did it first time today, yes, and I was my well first impressed. Time working I thought Carol. I was going to have to help you, and I was going to be equally as useless, because I still had no idea. No, I think, I think we did well today. And of course, my little edges and everything. So please don't judge my cake. I'm not here to win a competition. I'm just here to show you that even for someone who's never worked with fondant before, with sugar paste, I picked up the Renshaw today because that is what we um, found first in the, um, in the warehouse and the colours I liked. Um, and it, didn't, it mean, meant that I didn't have to colour it myself because... Um, That's hard work, these are, yeah, Hard work and also you need to have a bit more experience to know exactly what you're doing because the colour could change the um, consistency of your fondant or your sugar paste. So what I just I did was I chose the colours which were already coloured. Um, this is a, I think it's called something grey. We don't have the packaging here, unfortunately. Navy. It's just grey. Navy, grey, and poppy red. Poppy red, navy, and grey. Yeah. And then the sugar pools that we are using. Um, I'm sorry to do this to you guys, but these ones we are waiting for our stock. This is called red, black, and white. As simple as that. Um, <laughs> we're waiting for the stock of these. Um, but the ones behind us that Carol have spoken about a little bit, I'm so excited about them. I've managed to source my um, dragees or sugar pearls, edible pearls, whatever you want to call them. And um, I have to say something, and that is that, and I found one here. I want us to actually talk about this. So the DK, I want to use one that doesn't have a, um, the DK has a little um, hopper. The hopper has a little hole, which is um, optimized for four and five millimeter dragees. When you buy dragees, they are not always all perfectly formed. So I can show you there. You get some misshaped ones. Can you see that? Does it come up on the thing, Majiki? Um, they're not always perfectly shaped. So can you imagine if that little one goes through the hopper and through the barrel, it's gonna get stuck. So all you need to do is when it gets stuck, if you've given it a shake a couple of times and it still doesn't want to come through, so you just give it a little shake like this and if it still doesn't want to come through, turn it upside down, just inspect your um, chamber and there that nothing's stuck. Push it back together again and there you go. We will make a, a proper little um, video, instructional video about exactly that aspect because we don't want people to come back to us and tell us it doesn't work because it works. It's just that the balls are not all uniform and it's very difficult to get uniform balls. balls. So, 
That's how it looks more from the anyway. <laughs> uh, yes, so that's it. That's um, my little bit. I, I, I think Carol is ready for a, another little stint. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> another little stint. <laughs> okay, yes. we've got a question yes. about, from Julie Smith saying, Carol, when I take my cakes out of the oven, see if they're cooked, they're fine, but then when it comes out, they sink. <laughs> right, next, next question. <laughs> I don't know. Ask <laughs> Google. Kathleen sent me a picture that I haven't, made, I haven't answered yet that she'd made and hers had sank as well. Um, I really don't know the answer. I'm not a professional cake baker and mine don't sink, so maybe somebody else on here yes. could answer that question. Yes. When Wendy Ann Preston has helped out. Fantastic, Wendy. Well done, girl. What she said. If it sinks in the middle, you've opened the oven door too soon. Yeah. <laughs> if it's so 25 easy. minutes time, don't open the door before at least 20 minutes. Right. And well, there you go then. There's the answer. I can't tell you. And that I, I can't tell you. I tend to put my cakes in the oven and uh, depending on what size it is, I normally know it's... Um, I, I've been probably cooking mine too high because I always get a dome on mine. So I put them in for 20 minutes and then check. But I have started turning them down because when I want a cake, I want it flat topped. So anyhow, you'll see that I've been busy here crumb coating. Dale, Dale, Dale is female. It's female. Oh, sorry, Dale. But you see, the thing is, your profile picture is only eyes, so it's been difficult to say. But thank you for joining the females. So that means that we've only got Rob and Martin then, who's the general males every week. I don't know whether Martin oh. Dursley's here. Well, we've got Dennis week. tonight. We've got Dennis. Hi, hey, hey, hey. sweetie. <laughs> That's Gwen's. Uh, uh, I hope it's the right Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> the one with the G surname, so Gibson. Well, unless you've got another sweetie called Dennis. <laughs> oh, yes, well. Uh, you never know. <laughs> okay, so you'll see that I, the one thing that I love about Nifty Nozzles is, is that I keep telling you guys I am not a professional cake decorator. I never have been, don't aspire to be one. Um, all I like to do is play with the nozzles. I like watching people like Gwen and Kim and all the other people who've come along and made things. I enjoy watching them like you, you. And that's why I invite them along to the Facebook Live so that you can see you know, what these um, people are showing you and how good they are. But myself, I'm a hobby baker like you guys and I like life to be easy. But at the end of the day, I still want it to look good. I don't want it to look rubbish. Now, when it comes to crumb coating a cake, I am not the best. So when Gwen was asking me about putting the sugar paste on, don't ask me to crumb coat and put sugar paste over the top. It's my worst nightmare. But I have got a lady here next week called Barina. Uh, now, a lot of you will follow her, Barina's Cakes, and she's developed some smoothers, and they're, um, it's the acrylic smoothers, but she's now developed them with a silicone pad so that they don't slip. So when you're smoothing, the silicone pad will help you grip them. And she's developed um, a square one and a round one for the top of your cake to give you a perfect flat top. And Barina is going to be here next week doing a full demo on how to ganache your cake and, um, and put the sugar paste on and do it with a smoother. So I'm really excited about Barina coming. So any questions about that, you can ask her. But myself, going back to Nifty Nozzles, I crumb coat and it only needs to be a rough crumb coat. So you can see here it's got speckles all over the cake. I don't know if John gets any closer. Um, you'll see the speckles and all that is um, crumb coating is when you put your first layer of buttercream on. And really it should be thinner than, than this, but I, I just want a nice thick layer. And you'll see all these little speckles are just the loose crumbs. And technically what you should do when you crumb coat a cake is do a very thin coat first and that seals all the crumbs. You pop it in the fridge and then after 20 minutes, half an hour, you then put your second coat. But the lovely thing with Nifty Nozzles, you don't have to do that. So if you're not a professional cake baker and you worry about um, your sides and your cake, don't worry tonight because tonight we're going to make this really very, very simple for you guys. Yeah. So you'll see here... I've got a bowl of bags of uh, buttercream and this is what I used to make the flowers before on these cakes earlier. So I've said this before to you, when, when you're pre-preparing, in the bottom of the bowl I've got a, a damp 
dishcloth down there okay and basically that's to stop my nozzle from drying out because if you leave your bag of nozzles open on the side they'll start to dry out if you don't use them for a while and because I made those this afternoon and I'd already filled them I wanted to um, keep them all damp so that we could use them now so um, I don't know whether you want me to do all 15 cakes with each nozzle because I know lots of you <laughs> John's rolling his eyes here thinking, oh God, I hope not. But um, I know lots of you always say, well, what nozzle does this do and what nozzle does that do? So um, some of the other nozzles that I would recommend that you buy as well, it's not in the set, unfortunately, but I'd certainly recommend that you buy the Wilton 5 and 10 round. And those are to make your little beads. But to keep it simple, so for those who are new to Nifty Nozzles, um, I, all I've done is, is I've used the nozzles, if I get John back here, I've used the nozzles that are in the set and I've used the Wilton 352 leaf nozzle. And I think they're pretty enough to be fair. So, um, so for all you beginners out there. Now, what is Russian piping tips? Well, let me tell you, Alexander Lebedev in Russia, and this is why they're called Russian piping tips. He's a Russian man in Russia and he, let me just turn it to there, okay. He designed these tips, in, designed these tips, and they drove the world crazy, okay? But he is the original designer, and him, him and I have been working together, and he's actually been doing all our designs as well. We've actually patented the designs, and all you regular followers, followers will know what I mean by patented them. That means that we protected our work. Unfortunately, there are sellers out there in the UK, Europe and around the world that are selling copies of our designs. And it's quite upsetting to find that respectable cake shops will actually sell copies of your designs that have been protected, where they'd be equally upset if I started selling copies of their products, which we don't. Um, I respect intellectual property rights. Um, I've also made mistakes and bought things in the past that has actually been a design belonged to somebody else. And you know, once you're made aware of it, you should take it off sale. And um, I've actually contacted lots of cake shops around the UK and informed them of our rights. And quite a lot of them have worked with us, but it's been surprising how some reputable companies out there, and I won't name them, but uh, some very big reputable companies out there have, um, well, one in particular hasn't been so friendly about it, which has been a little bit upsetting. So if you want to know that whether you're buying the genuine Russian piping tip, it should have tulip on the side, okay? And that represents Alexander's company in Russia. That does not mean that this nozzle is called tulip. That's the name of his company. Like we're called Sugar and Crumbs, his company is called tulip. So I don't know whether you can see that logo on there, okay? And then on the other side, you'll see our name. Let me just get it there, one second. Swirl it round. So you'll see, let's see if that's the right way, yep. You might just be able to see that one there. Can you see that? And that's Nifty Nozzles. Now what it does on there, it tells you the number of the nozzle. And if it's got L next to it, it means large. And if it's got XL, it's the extra large size, like in the posy that I'm giving you away tonight, giving away to you tonight. So in this bundle deal here, is 14 large nifty nozzles and I'm giving you away a free posy which is valued at 4.99. So the bundle deal is 50 pound. If you bought every single nozzle individually, it would come to 50 pound. And the deal that tonight is is 36.99 plus you're getting posy free. Plus you're spending over 30 pound, which means you're getting shipping free as well. So I think that's a fantastic deal for anybody who wants to start with the genuine Russian piping tips. Now, what's so good about the Russian ones? Well, let me tell you. All ours are laser cut. All the lasers are all nice and neat. They're sharp and they give, they give clear definition. You'll find that when you buy copies, they're, out, they're a lot thinner. Um, the steel isn't so good. And um, what can I tell you? These are the better ones. It, it's difficult unless I've, I've had people here in class and I've shown them the Chinese ones and the originals. And when you've got them side by side in real life, you can actually see the difference. But it is quite difficult when you're actually trying to show them through the camera. 
Um, all our nozzles come in this bag, so if you get told that you are buying a nifty nozzle, if it doesn't arrive in this bag, you haven't bought a nifty nozzle. If it doesn't have the logo Tulip and nifty nozzles on the side, you have not bought a nifty nozzle, you've bought a copy. Now let me tell you now, if you've bought a coffee, uh, copy, by law, you are entitled to return your copy back to your seller. And it doesn't matter how old they are, they can be 12 months, 16 months, you can tell them that you've just been aware, made aware that you have bought an infringing copy off their website. And you are entitled to a full refund and you are entitled to ask them to pay for the postage to collect your nozzles. So anybody who doesn't want their copy nozzles, please send them back, makes my day. So, um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop going on with myself and uh, show you how to use them. So lots of you use them all the time. So one of the first ones I'm going to use is the bigger nozzle that's in the pack and it's called the Rose Twist. And uh, Laura used this the other week to make the pavlovas with. So she made these lovely pavlovas. So anybody who didn't see that, um, it's, if you go back to YouTube and you'll see, you'll see, it was only a couple of weeks ago, when was it? It was in June. Mm -hmm. So it was the first episode in July that she did that um, that one. So this one here, you don't really need, if you see that my cupcake cases as well are a bit dodgy, it's because these cupcakes were in the freezer, so I just have to sort of ruffle them out. Now this one, you don't actually need to um, put any buttercream on the top. So what we're gonna do with this one, it's called the Rose Twist, and anybody who's got Mrs. Whippy and Viennetta, um, Frilly Girl, um, Ruffles, they all work exactly the same. So you sit the nozzle at 90 degrees, is that 90 degrees, yeah? Mm -hmm. You sit it at 90 degrees and you start to squeeze. Now when you start to squeeze, do not lift up until you've got your first ruffle. And then it gently presses up by itself. I'm actually not lifting it. The force of the buttercream is pushing it itself. So I'm going to stop squeezing now. So if you see that, I've let go of my fingers. I've stopped squeezing and then I'm going to give it a quick twist. And there you go. So do we like that one? So that's a lovely effect, it's so easy. So if any of you, and this lovely orange color that I've used on the color splash range today is absolutely lovely. It's nice, bright and vibrant. And I've two-toned it by just putting white in the middle. Now personally, I like it just like that, but you can add a strawberry, a marshmallow, um, a raspberry, a Ferrero Rocher, Malteser. And that's how simple that one is, okay? So we'll put that one there. Let's put it on the turntable over here. Use that one. So I'm going to put this back in my bowl to keep it nice. Let's see, let's see. Now this one here is the, uh, where's my damp cloth? Here we go. It's always good to have a damp cloth. So this one here is the scented tulip, okay? And this is a really pretty one. Now when you, do, when you are using the nozzles, Okay, always crumb coat your cake a little bit. Don't put a lot on, just put a little bit on and just gently smooth it on. Now don't crumb coat all your cakes in one go because what will happen is this will dry and then go. it will crust over and then it, you've actually defeated what you wanted it to do. You need that little wet base so that when you put the nozzle onto the cake, you've got something to stick to. So um, I think Maria, I've got two cameras going at me. You'll see Maria over here and John there. So I'm hoping you can both see you in there, John. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see that I'm really holding this lightly. The nozzle must sit on the cake, okay? So you just squeeze, form a base and pull, okay? Now what can happen is, and this has happened here, all right, can you see I've got this long squiggly bit coming out? Can you see there's a long one there? Can you see there's a long one there? That's because it wasn't quite sat on the cake. So just put it on so it's just lost one of its things. Stay and squeeze and off. And that's got the hole set in there. So a squeeze and off. Go up about one centimetre. Stop squeezing. And I'll just do this one for Maria around here. So squeeze. You can see there. So this is quite pretty, this one. 
So you just keep squeezing your squeeze, form a base up one centimeter, stop squeezing. And when you stop squeezing, it naturally breaks off itself. Yeah. And then we've got the leaf nozzle here, the 352. And the 352, you use it this way. Yeah. So let me just clean that moment. And if you can, try and keep the seam of the bag at the top because if you have it at the bottom, you tend to knock the flowers. So try and keep it at the top because uh, that's one of the things for knocking the flowers with. And all we're going to do is, is I'm going to put it in, I call it mouth open. So I'm just going to put it in there, I'm going to squeeze, form a base and do a nice little leaf. So I'm just going to show you guys and then I'm going to show Maria. So there you go, Maria. Can you see it there? Yeah. And the reason we show Maria, every time we do a Facebook Live, Maria does a little video for you, a little one minute video. Do you all see those every time we do a Facebook Live later on the week? Wednesday, Thursday, there's a little one minute video. And it's that she, what she's trying to do is just show you very quickly. So what we're going to do, just going to put some little leaves in here just to finish it off. And that one there is the scented tulip. So I quite like those colours. And what we've used there is the peacock blue and the lime green for those colours. Do you like those? Mm -hmm. So is there any more questions, John? Well, someone's just asking, how do we get them? How we'll, do you get them? We'll put, we'll put links on later. Okay, well, the links are on our website. Maria's already put them on the website. Um, the, the, on Facebook. On Facebook. So when have you tagged it, put, repinned it to the top today from last week? Pardon? Pardon? Yeah, right. I've caught a question at the top well. though, can't you? You don't know what I mean by a pin, do you? Yes, yes, I have a pin <laughs> Right, okay. Well, basically, we put an announcement on today about what we're doing tonight. So in that announcement is all the information, and in there it's got all the links. So what we're going to do is, after the, after the session tonight, I'll actually go and pin it to the top of our page. And when I pin it to the top of our page, it means you can see all the links, okay? There's a question so, here from Ria Kessel. All right, yeah. I'm not sure where Ria's from. I know Ria, she's from mm -hmm. Cornwall. She says, do you sell the silver cake turner on your site, this one? Right, everybody always asks me about this cake table. So this cake table I bought from a company called Atico. It's actually really expensive and I really wanted a very, very good quality cake table. This one here, if John has a look, I, I don't sell any real um, expensive cake tables and I'll tell you for why. Um, I've got two of these and uh, when I bought the first ones they came all dinted around the side and I paid about $11.99 for them so I didn't want to sell them out to customers because I thought I really don't want the hassle of customers ringing me and saying they wanted their money back because by the time they got to them uh, they were damaged and it was the way that they arrived to me as well so um, and then this one I bought this one from the cake show from cake international and I think I paid um, I can't remember whether it was 15 pound or 20 pound but I'm sure the the lady who gave me um, and I'll tell you who it was actually it was winter cake craft I'm sure she gave me a little discount um, a couple of pounds off on the day so that's this one okay so these are the cheaper ones this one here, which is the one that Rhea's asking about, is from a Tico. Now, I did want a really quality one, and this is one of the best. But I will tell you, I paid about £69 for this one. Um, and it's super. The spin on it is absolutely lovely. It's nice and even. And um, it, it's the best turntable that you can get. And I don't sell these either. You'll have to Google these. Now, I did buy this about three years ago, so they could have come down in price, gone up in price. I really don't know, but it's a Tico turntable and you'll have to Google them and uh, see how much you're going to pay for one of those. But I do get asked for them a lot. Yeah, so there you go, Ria. Right, so let me just go back to another nozzle now then. And uh, so what have we got here in the bag? So this one here is the firecracker. Now I do like this one as well. And you can use this one in two ways. So we're going to use it like this. So we're just going to put a little bit of blob buttercream on the top there. You don't need a lot. Okay. And the kiddies like this one. So you can do this again, 90 degrees. So just squeeze, 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 squeeze. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Stop squeezing and pull off. 
So you can actually just use it like that one and it's great if you want to put hundreds and thousands all over it or some edible glitter, okay? And then what I've also done with it tonight, you can scrape this one if you wanted to do it in greens and you wanted to uh, use it as part of your cactus range. So if you were doing cactuses and things, um, you could use this nozzle as well. I think when Christina was here, she was actually referring to this nozzle. You just need to add a few other little embellishments to it as well. Um, tonight I've actually done it this way. So on exactly the same principle, squeeze, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. So you could put it on like that as well. And you'll see that I've triple toned this one. I have shown you all many times how to triple tone. I'm not gonna show you tonight, but if you go back through all my old Facebook videos, you'll see that I've showed you how to do that. It's so easy. But uh, I quite like that one. You, you like this one, didn't you, Marie? Yeah. And then, pardon? Oh, is it pinned to the top? She's pinned it to the top now. So if you go to our Facebook page, okay, um, for anybody who's asking questions, um, tonight's episode is actually pinned to the top of our Facebook page and it's got all the links. When did you do that? When did you do that? Just then. Ooh, clever girl, aren't you? See? So, um, let's see what else we've got here. So again, you... And one of the other things as well, and I forgot to bring it in, is what really makes it nice, but it's a bit controversial really, because some people like it, some people don't. But if you've got the edible glitter, and we do the rainbow dust range, and um, if you put a sprinkle of the edible glitter on, that looks really nice as well. So let's see what nozzle we've got here. So again, I'll just clean this one. So this one's the Blooming Marvellous. This is a lovely one, this one. So um, I've done this with the lime green and pink. So again, all we're going to do, we're going to squeeze onto the base, and I've two-toned it. You see that lovely pink? And that's... I've just done it with a nice lime, squeeze, squeeze, stop squeezing, squeeze, stop squeezing, squeeze, about one centimetre, squeeze, and look how lovely that is. It's so nice, it, to get the best effect for these is to two-tone as well, so we'll just put a couple of leaves in as well, just to finish it off. If you don't put leaves on, I think you're actually doing yourself an injustice because I don't think they look as pretty. So we'll just put in a couple in here. You just need to do some baby ones. Um, I know lots of you struggle with these leaves. So let me just, um, did you get that guys? Do you like that? Who likes those colors? They're brilliant, aren't they? So this is the colour splash range as well. And this one's called Blooming Marvellous. And I actually really like this one. So all the nozzles I've actually put in this set is a good selection of roses and um, tulips. So, you know, you won't go wrong. And to be fair, I don't think you need to buy every single nozzle that we sell. Um, but if you want just a nice, easy set, buy these. And always use different colours. It'll always make them look different. So let me put that one there. So let's do one of the rose ones. So I've got the romance rose here in the pink. So let's do a rose. Everybody always loves the roses. Now there's several roses in the set. So I put the romance rose in and I've also put the rose cup in and the garden rose. So let's just go around and do this one. So again, all exactly the same principle because some people do say to me, I do think it's funny, some people will write to me and say, I've used a nozzle, I can use this one, but I can't use the other one. And that, and that makes me smile because it's exactly the same principle for each nozzle. So if you can use one, you can use all of them. And it's all about consistency of buttercream and how you um, hold your nozzle onto your bag. And then the other thing as well, don't cut your bags um, too far down your nozzle. If you cut your bag so they're down here, your nozzle's going to pop out. So try and cut it. This one's just borderline, but because I'm more experienced with the nozzles, I can handle it. But try and cut your bag so it's right on the edge here with the, with the tip of your, your nozzle, okay? Um, but any further than that, you may have problems. If you start holding them down here, as soon as you start to squeeze, they're going to pop out. So I'm gonna start doing exactly the same again, but I'm just gonna to talk to you a little bit more about buttercream. So tonight I um, have got softened butter. I use unsalted butter. So there's the rose, that's the romance rose. 
So I've used, I always use unsalted butter, okay? If you're icing sugar or you don't like a sweet tooth, use 250 grams of unsalted butter and 250 grams of salted butter and that will take the sweetness away okay so anybody who comes because we get this at the cake shows when they try our flavored icing sugars they go oh it's sweet and then i have to say well i have just give you a spoonful of sugar so it would be sweet and then they go oh yeah how dumb am i <laughs> so sometimes stating the obvious is um it's something that we have to do so but if you don't like buttercream too sweet then um use a little bit of un unsalted butter so salted i'm just gonna butter. use yeah use um sorry i'm concentrating on what i'm doing now use 250 grams of salted butter and 250 grams of unsalted it's a good job john's listening he always makes me laugh you know because he corrects me which shows me he is listening and paying attention which is great well done john so <laughs> Not very often, but... What? Not often that you listen to me? <laughs> so what have we got here? Then we've got the... Set. So that was the Romance Rose, guys. Sorry. So I don't know whether you've got a good look at yeah. that. That's the Romance Rose. And let me just show Maria. Yeah. So that's quite pretty. I always end up doing the roses in pink. So then I've got one of the spring tulips here. Now this one's called the Summer Tulip. And again, I like this. I don't dislike any of them, really. So uh, let's just go over this one. And then, will we have all the nozzles at Cake and Bake in London? We will have all the nozzles in Cake and Bake in London and this is going to be our, our deal on the day. So we'll be taking this one. These will be already made up as sets. So who's going to Cake and Bake in London? And uh, we're going to be at Cake and Bake in London the first weekend in October. Then we're at Cake International the first weekend in November, which is in Birmingham. So London is Excel, okay, and we're there for three days. I think it's, is it the fourth, fifth and sixth, or the third, fourth and fifth? Whatever that first weekend is, we're there. Five, six, seven. What is it? Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. It's probably because we go on the fourth for setting up day. But that first weekend in October, we're at Excel Cake and Bake. Um, and then in November, we're at Cake International, um, Birmingham, uh, we're there. And, um, and then we're at the following week, we're at Cake and Bake Manchester at the, what's it called? Event City, isn't it? Event exactly. City. And that's, um, it's got Cake and Bake one side and it's got the Ideal Home the other side. And it's actually a very long show, that one. It's actually four days, so it's a killer, that one. And Maria will be there as well, so you can meet her in person. And uh, I think you're popping along to join yes. us at Cake International yes. as well, aren't you, Gwen? And Gwen is going to be at Cake and Bake, so you can actually go and pop along and see Gwen and actually see the, um, the adapter in action for yourself live there, yes. which is great. And she'll be there with Kim, who's made all these lovely cakes in the background, which is super. And, um, and then I also heard some news today that Cake International isn't doing any more shows. They're only going to be doing the one show, so the um, spring show and the show at the Ali Pali, they're not doing those anymore. So if you are a Cake International fan, get along to that Birmingham one because it'll be next November before you see us again. So we need to get you all there. So that will be the bundle deal there. So let me just tell you about this summer tulip then. So this is a lovely one. And all I've done with this is I've done it white with pink in the middle. So again, we're gonna go over here. So we're gonna squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You'll see that I sort of lift my little finger up when I stop squeezing, just to release it. And I'm gonna do the center. And again, that's really effective, just with the pink and white. So if you don't want to do loads of colors, make your white buttercream, and then just put pink in the middle. Pink buttercream in the middle, and it's really effective. So I'm gonna get on to, I'm gonna get John to pop back to Gwen to see how she's doing, and I'm, going to get ready for doing this cake here. Yeah, but I need to make some green buttercream. So I'm just gonna mix up some green buttercream while Gwen tells you what she's mm. doing. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at those. Has anybody got any more questions they want to ask me? No, is it going too fast, John? No, they're all, they're all experts now, I think. Oh, you're all experts. <laughs> There's some other things that I want to do other than um, nifty nozzles. But we've got lots of guests on and uh, some of the things that I plan to do in December 
uh, because I haven't got any guests in December. So I actually want to do a checkered board cake for you to show you how to do that. I know I've been asked a few times how to make one of those. So I want to make a checkered board cake for you. And um, I'm going to have a go at making one of those cups and saucers with sugar paste and painting it for you. So uh, I'm quite looking forward to the challenge on how to make one of those. So that's going to be a long session because you'll have to watch me make it from the beginning. Um, never made one before, but that's uh, something else I'm going to do in December. Um, going through September, let's talk about who we've got here in September. So it's Gwen and I tonight. So anybody who hasn't joined us, I'm Carol from Sugar and Crumbs and this is Gwen with a DK applicator for her pearls. Um, next week we've got Barina from Barina's Cakes in Ireland and she's flying over from Ireland just to show you how to use her smoothers. And anybody who wants a perfect top cake, then you need to be watching this lady next week and we'll have all their products on sale. Uh, they will be on pre-order for one week um, because I've ordered them with Brina and I'll be the first one to get these uh, with the new silicone gripper on and she's so excited about it. So, um, But they're not going to be arriving with us until between the 18th and the 21st of September. But if you want to pre-order them next week when she's here, I'll have them on the website ready. Then the week after, on the 18th, I've got Richard from Wright's Bacon here. Now, the Wright's Bacon products, I've not put them on the website, uh, but they'll be on the website and you'll be able to buy them. And Jackie will be able to tell you a little bit about them as well. They're excellent. So if you're a bit nervous about actually making and you only enjoy the decorating part, then buy the baking kits. They're really very reasonable to buy. And uh, Rich is actually going to show you how quickly and simple it is to make them. And then that's your baking out the way and you can get on there and having all the pleasure of just decorating them. On the 25th of September, we've got Dawn Butler here with the cake frame. So I'm quite excited about that. She's actually going to make something for Halloween, I think she said. So she's going to use the cake frame and make something with that. And um, so that will be a, quite a long session and it'll just be Dawn on her own. Um, the week after, we've got Karen Davies back on the 2nd of October, which is great. Uh, she's bringing out her Christmas uh, moulds for us. So she'll have those here. She's going to do a lovely demo on them. Then we're off to Cake and Bake Excel. And then when we come back from Cake and Bake Excel, we'll be exhausted. But when's coming back? Is it then? I'm yeah. coming back after Cake International. Is it Cake International? Yeah. Oh my God, it's going to be me then. then. So um, I don't I can't come back. <laughs> I don't know who it is then after that one. But uh, we've got a whole list of people. October's full and November's full. And then amongst all in the middle of that, I'm praying our Laura doesn't have the baby on a Sunday or a Monday because I've got classes and I don't want to leave you guys. So she's been given strict instructions that she can only have her baby any day between Tuesday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we can get up and do them. So um, I'm going to pop you back to Gwen and I'm going to make some green buttercream ready to get on with this cake here. Yeah? So, that there. so yeah. over here, look at this. Again, for those who've just recently um, tuned in, um, I have never before actually um, worked with fondant or sugar paste on my own. Kim, Kim Firth from Kim, Kim's Case Workshop showed me a couple of weeks ago. And I tried and I took some Renshaw today because I like these colors from um, the warehouse. I had a tour of the warehouse, which by the way is really spot on. Um, I took the grey, um, poppy red and navy from Renshaw. It's already coloured. It's called Ready, Ready to Roll or something. What's it called? Ready to Roll, I see that. Yeah. And I really found it quite easy. Kim gave me a couple of um, pointers last time. And um, one of them is to always have a little bit of Trex nearby. And also um, Carol's little duster. So let me see if I can find that. Here it is. Do you still have these in stock? I do, yeah. I forgot to bring one in actually. So, um, so you can't show them that one. Gwen. No, I'm not. We don't not sell them. I didn't. It didn't I did <laughs> not do anything. Friend. I didn't do anything. <laughs> a little duster like this. Ours are bigger and better. Bigger and better, so um, you make sure that you have a little bit of um, uh, sugar dust on it. No, you use corn flour, don't you? Yeah. Um, and um, the Trex makes your life easier with these. So, um, those are the two things that Kim showed me, and um, I just basically... Oh, and actually, I must say that, um, Carol had the right tools for me. She had the big... Um, what's that roller called? Head. It's called the kingpin, isn't it? Yeah. That really made my life easy. And also a, a plastic um, silicone mat, that's a double mat, so you put your 
put your silicone in between and then you start rolling and there we go. So there's lots of finger marks, lots of imperfections, but it was my first time um, and at the moment you're looking at the back of the cake where the crack is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so well, if you were Irish, you could get away with that because they say, Craig, I'm having the crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I just said, John, I want to say something, and that is that this cake was not um, touched with dragees or sugar pearls when we started at about eight o'clock. And in an hour's time, I've done that, all of that. I've done this one almost right round, and this one at the top is done. So you can see that really this little tool will make your life much easier, quicker, and for those who've been following the DK story all along, we have been um, on this journey for four years. Angelique came up with the idea about four years ago. About two years ago, um, she had already registered her patent, and she asked me if I would help and um, take the, the DK into the world to actually foster her little baby. And so what you're looking at here is the T0, um, the previous time when I was here with Carol, we were working with a white one, which was a 3D printed prototype, um, which we put through its paces, and we were very happy with how it performed. Um, our factory in Enfield then, um, in the meantime, had our, silic uh, our injection moulding um, blocks, they called tools, um, made here in the UK, and they had to do what's called the T0 samples. Um, they pushed out about 10 of these, and we are now testing them to make sure that they work just exactly right. And tonight, from, just from tonight, from doing a couple of things, I've already picked up on one more thing that I want my um, guys to work on. So this is what it's all about. We don't want you guys to have a, a sub-zero um, product. We want you to have just the right one. And so we're putting it through its tests, and as soon as we have news for you, we'll let you know whether we're still on target for the end of September, start of October. I would say there's a 90, 95% chance that we are on target, but if anything at the factory now goes, not wrong, but it takes a bit longer than what we anticipated, then we will let you know, and there might be another week or two added to that. So this is the DK. Um, I don't know if anybody's got any questions or, or any comments for us. Um, again, perhaps we can quickly talk about the colours, because I, I said about my, my dragees that I've um, sourced, and that Carol um, and the Sugar Crumbs will be my um, sole distributors for those in the UK. Um, and there's, um, there's nine different colours. Shall I bring them closer, or are you going to no, bring them closer? No, no, so We have the... Outside, the what? This size? Yes, so of course. They are four millimeter dragees, and what we are doing is where other companies in the UK sell 80 grams, we are giving you 100 grams for the same price as what other companies are selling them for three pounds. Uh, they're selling them for three pounds, but it's 80 grams. We are giving you 100 grams for three pounds. So um, is that what you guys are doing it on the, yeah, three pounds. So we have metallic pink, metallic blue, metallic green, metallic gold, and metallic silver. So those are our metallic ones that are on the market already here in the UK. And then over here, we have the pearlescent colors. We have pearlescent white, pearlescent pink, pearlescent gold, and pearlescent blue. And I am just about ready to order my next batch. There's still about, um, there's still about 14 colors. No, hold on. Yeah, um, yeah, there's still about 14 colors that um, are available. So we hope to get all of them. Um, and as soon as we're ready with those, we'll let you know. So that's it about the, very excited about our little range of um, recommended dragees or sugar pearls, edible pearls, whatever you want to call them. Carol, are you ready? Yeah, I am. I'm ready again. So can you see me well enough from there, John? Should I move this out of the way? Maria, do you want me to move that one out of the way? So what I'm going to do is just, just show you how quick and easy it is to decorate a sponge without any artistic flair, without having to be a cake decorator. Because the whole reason about why we do sugar and crumbs is, is that you, um, we're hobby bakers, we want to make it simple. And I also want it so that when you're at home there thinking, I can't make that, well, I want to show you, you know what you can. It's really very, very simple. So if you get the cake mix from Wright's Baking, get the cake mix from Wright's Baking, your velvet make your sponge so you won't have any collapses in the middle if you're not confident on making a cake. I've showed you how to make the buttercream, it's really simple. 
put it in your bags and now we've just quickly done a rough crumb, crumb coat and um, we're going to quickly decorate it very quickly. So I think somebody's just asked Gwen a question. Have they just asked you yes, Gwen? Yes, they did. Um, is it the one about the diamonds, the edible diamonds that you picked up or the DK in action? Okay, so there's two things then, we'll come back to both of them. So the first one, if I can just answer yeah. that quickly. They're asking about edible diamonds. I know there are edible diamonds on the market. Yes. I, I wouldn't have an interest in them because mine needs a round thing, yeah. not something with a flat back. Okay, but, but do you there, are, there are edible diamonds and we sell them on our website as well. I've got some that are actually in the sale at the moment. I am discontinuing the edible diamonds simply because they, um, even though they've got a best before date, so they don't go out of date, they just don't actually sell. So if you want to grab yourself a bargain, go to our clearance box, because I've got a whole load of them there in the sale that you can actually have um, that they're reduced. Um, I've also got some at full price. We do some very small pink ones and we do some larger ones. I think the small pink ones are not in the sale, but again, I will be discontinuing them. They are pretty, they are beautiful, but they just don't sell. And, um, I, you know, if something doesn't sell, then you just have to get rid of your stock. So grab, take advantage of my clearance box and use those up, get those used. I think they're in um, nines, actually. And they're just jellies, that's it all is they just are. Jelly just jelly, jelly yeah. So once you've bought them once, you can use those little um, things to just make your own. Yeah. You realise that. They, no. they come in a little, it's like an ice, you know how you would have an ice tray? Yeah. They come like that and you get them out and then once you they've got them out, you just make your own gelatin and make them again. Oh, <laughs> right, just, okay. So there get you go. some and just yeah. make your own. And then the other question was um, Kim actually asking to just see this version in action. All right. But I think once you've yeah, well, done, let's just go on here. You don't do this. Done and then we will show so I'm just going to quickly show you how to do this, all right. So you'll see that I've put the white buttercream into a bag and I've just got a hole here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this round the center of the cake, okay? And then while I do that, I'm just going to get a collection of the nozzles. So these are just different ones. And I'm just going to put, the, put them on here randomly. So we put them on there, put them on there. And you can do them in clusters if you want to, like I did the other week. I love um, it. Yeah. Yes, it well, is. If you're just really asking to marry me, will you give me a cake like that? Yeah. Good. Did you hear that? So let's just. <laughs> so it's all the same principle. So let's just put a few of these on. I love that rustic look. And then. And then. That's a bit nice pink one here. Just so that Maria can see what I'm doing there. I'll just use a collection of these. So again, these are all from this nozzle set that I'm just telling you about. So this is from this um, 15 bundle set, which is for 14. I mean, you've got me saying four now. John's convinced me I said four. 14 mm -hmm. nifty nozzles. Um, a Wilton 352 tip and um, I'm giving you a free extra large posy as well so let's just put those in there what else have we got here so let's use this one which nozzle's the yellow one the yellow one is jasmine oh wait a minute there's yeah, two the there's a lime green lime green the this yellow this sun dancer cup yellow yeah. sorry yeah that's um called rose cup how did you know it's called Rose Cup? Did someone just tell you? I know more than you think. Hey, mm -hmm. mm, getting clever, Johnny. <laughs> so that's all we're going to do there. Let's get a couple of other ones. Just hang on a second. He surprises me, John. So all we're going to do, so you can see like this little circle of flowers. I mean, I don't know what time I started this, but you'll see it didn't take long. You just put some in on the inside. What else have we got here? So, not that one. What else have we got? Let's use the carnation. And all these colours are going really well. When you put that circle around the top, that um, just gives it a little bit of oomph. Now, I did a ribbon one the other week, and I know Rhea Kessel 
did it for her, one of her friends. So we've done that. So we've still got this grotty side bit now. So the Wilton 352 has got a Big Mama one. It's not called Big Mama, I've just called it that. So this is called the 366 Wilton. It's exactly the same price as the 352. So you get the 352 in your set, but I would certainly invest in buying one of these and they're $1.99. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to, again, keep this ruffle of the piping bag on the outside. So you'll see that I'm going in here and then I'm just going to squeeze and bring it up. Squeeze and bring it up. And then you can see, don't worry Maria, I was gonna come around and show you. So let me just show Maria this side a minute. So we're just going to squeeze and bring it up. And look how easy that is. So do you like it guys? So let me clean my Lots nozzle. of love hearts. Has it got it? Sorry. Lots of love hearts and all kinds oh, of things. Lots of love hearts, good, that's what we like. So um, let me just keep going round here then, just to show you how easy it is. So see what I mean? You don't need to be the professional cake decorator. You know, this cake's gonna look great in a minute. Well, it's looking great now, even if I say so myself. I'm gonna have to refill my bag because I think I'm running out. If you're wondering what green I've used here, it's the pistachio color. So let me just refill my bag, guys. But you can get the effect. So let me go back to Gwen a minute for that mm. question she needed to answer. Why I refill my bag. So I need to make a bit more of this buttercream. So, as you can see, um, my top layer was done. The last time we um, chatted about this, my top layer was done. I've now finished my second layer, and um, I'm busy doing the diamond shape at the bottom now, which is gonna take a little bit longer. And I think something that is also worth mentioning before I show you the DK in action is um, our board. So the last time Kim was here, um, she had a beautiful multicolored board and people asked well, how did that happen and where does it come from and it's, it's there really... It is. Oh yes, um, John if you wanted to show that on there. That, this one really inspired so many people and they asked where did that come from, how did you get, um, you know, how did it happen. And it's all about the fact that I didn't want all these little leftover pieces of blue and purple and pink and green and um, yellow to be wasted. So I said to Kim, isn't there something we can do with that? And she said, yeah, let's make like a marble effect. And that's what came out. And so consequently, we've also had some other people, um, some of your your followers um, doing yeah. that. And tonight I did... Quite a few customers. Yes, and so today I did the same. I took the leftovers from the, the navy, the poppy red and the grey and did a little fondant. So I even covered a board. But yeah. as you can but see, first time for you there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, there's lots of finger marks and stuff because I've never done this before, but I'm quite pleased with it. I'm putting the DK um, prototype, it's not a prototype any longer, it's now our T0 samples um, through its paces. And Kim has asked to see how it works. Well, Kim, I will show you. And I have already tonight noticed something else that I need to speak to James about. I'm not sure if James is watching us tonight. He is um, not stalking us, but he is following our ongoings on. And um, I'll have a chat with him tomorrow. But there we go. And remember the angle I'm working at is making it a little bit more, com a bit more tricky. If you did a cake, you would s sit with it head on, if that's the right way to, to describe it. So I'm working at an angle here. And what happens is it runs out of the, of the little um, dragees and you have to give it a little flick just to make sure that they run again in the angle that they are inside and then you can go again. I've put a little dot of water onto each of our um, impressions, our little marks, just to keep the little ball there. And I use the end of the tip to just give it a little squeeze in to make it sit so, and a little shake again and there you go so Kim very similar to the 3d prototypes it's a bit smoother here um, when you press it forward it's not so clunky and then if you see when I did that too many of the little balls go into the nozzle so then you just have to press them out there we go and then you go again 
So very similar, um, but I must say much smoother. And I hope you guys like the color. I know that Angelique, our inventor of this little nifty little tool, loves the color. And um, yes, I'm quite pleased with it as well. So I hope you like that. Carol, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And we want to show, um, we want to show how the um, DK works with butter cream. Oh, yeah, so don't, don't forget, yeah. don't forget that. Yeah. Well. So um, while you've been, while Gwen's been talking to you, I've refilled my bag, I've just, and I've refilled, um, just carried on going round. So you can see that all I'm doing is bringing these ripples up. They don't have to be nice and neat. You can pull them up so that they're longer and they're hanging off. And then I put some little leaves in. I've got the 352 in the dark green. So I've just put some smaller leaves in. Just remember to tip this up. So I'm just going to put those in. So how do we think of this? Are we liking this? So this bundle, dear, that I'm telling you about now, these are the only nozzles I've used. I've not even added any berries or, be, uh, you know, the, I've not even used the Wilton round 10 and 5 on them because I just wanted that anybody who wanted to buy this set, you know, this is the type of thing that you can make with it. So I'm just going to put in a couple of lighter leaves there. So are they liking this, John? You're yep. liking it, guys. Lots of love hearts. Yes. And you know, this is for you guys who are scared of cake decorating. You can't go wrong with this, <laughs> seriously. If you're scared of cake decorating, if you're scared of cake decorating, give the nifty nozzles a go. They are so easy. And don't be buying those cheap Chinese copies. <laughs> protect our patent. It's very important that you protect our mm. patent, really. Because we've done everything the right way to make sure that the product's right for you. And you know, when somebody puts so much effort into making a design and bringing it to market, and then you just see copy sellers selling you a cheap copy, it's quite upsetting, really. Because they're actually taking from, from your design and your effort. So anyhow, so I think that was it. I think What's I, the name of the nozzle that you did do it going off the sides? Uh, the name of the nozzle that I've... I've called it the Big Mama. It is on our website. It's not actually called the Big Mama. It's the Wilton 35, no, the 366 um, Wilton, the 366 leaf nozzle. So I'm just adding a few more bits on there. You can just get giddy. You know what? There's a thing called less is more. So I need to stop mucking around with it now. <laughs> less is more. So let me put that over there. Can you give a brain there? So let me put that over there. So, oh gosh, can you just move this away then? So that John can get a closer look for you. Maria can get a closer look. So I hope you've enjoyed that tonight. Does anybody want to ask me anything? Do they need me to do anything out of all the nozzles? Really very simple, isn't it? And if you wanted to, if you don't like the bottom of the cake, what you could actually do if you don't like the bottom, let me just um, go with it in a minute. If you don't like the bottom on the board, and you know, use a coloured board as well. You know, you could put a couple of leaves off here. Let's just go around just to finish them off, fill in a few of the gaps. And then use your little darker colour just to give it a little bit of emphasis. Could put some flowers on the bottom as well if you wanted. Let me get a flower. Pink one there. So I'll we'll just get a pink one there so you could stick in a, a flower there if you wanted to. Put one round there. Put one round here. What else have I got there? A little rose. You can do whatever you like, really. Just pretty it up. That one's not coming out very well. It's a bit more difficult because I'm now getting to the end of my bag. So I'm just trying to use up a... When I'm getting to the end of my bag and I'm putting it on sideways, I'm actually using the thumb action. So I'm squeezing it and now holding the bag like that with my nozzle. So anyway, I hope you like that. And that's what you can do with that bundle set. So... Um, I think that's over from us now. So, Gwen, have you got any more to say? No, you've done. You've actually done really well. I, I just really want to say that 
for people who um, old, in the old fashioned way yeah. you know, had to use their tweezers to try and get um, the balls on there, let's, let's just see. I've never done this before, I've never tried this before, but I can just imagine the frustration. So I've put a little bit of water in my little guts. Here we go, we've got the first one. Now, you don't want those points to point into your cake, so you would probably do something like that. And then like that. Well, if we tell the truth, the, what, the reason um, FMM decided to um, stop doing this design this one, yes. is, is because too the, many, there's... there was too many pearls on there. And when people were having to put them in manually, it just took too long, so people didn't buy them. But because um, Gwen has brought out the applicator, and um, we've spoke to FMM, and how quick it is. Look how quickly she's done this, not with the, not with the tweezers. So, if you do it with the tweezers, you probably would have had to really line them up properly so that the tweezers sharp ends don't push into the cake. So I'm sure there's many up. people watching tonight who've done this. Yes. I've, I know I've seen people going Ooh. that they can't wait for this to be ready. Yeah. They can, so so it is possible, I mean it's not impossible, but, but that's imagine old, how long it would take to do that. But that's the old way of that's doing it, isn't it? Way, yes. so, so we need to speed things up. Speed things up. So and then um, with this little one, let me just see where's my head again. It's well worth the yeah, investment. So just go for it. So, so uh, Gwen has done all this in this session, which is really yes, good. I didn't, I didn't have any time to start this before we... Yeah. Um, so she's done the whole three of these cakes in this session. So anybody who knows anything about putting pearls on cakes, I'm sure you guys are going to be impressed. Do you want to put the thumbs up if you're impressed with it? Yeah. Because, any uh, questions? Any yeah. people like them? Um, Martin says... Thank you again to all of you tonight, Carol, Maria, Gwen, and of course, John. Your time spent with us is much appreciated. Yeah. Oh, do you know what, Martin? It's, it's so nice because oh, every lovely. week you do say and send us a thank you message, and I really appreciate that. That doesn't mean I don't appreciate the rest of you because I really do appreciate every Monday you guys come in and you follow us. And, you know, the one thing that we want to say is this is in my own private kitchen, okay? This is not a professional kitchen. It's in my own private kitchen. I give up my own free time every Monday. So does John. The guests come along and they give up their time as well to come and show you what they're developing and what they're working on. All free hints and tips. You don't have to pay to join us. You know, everything is here. So, you know, like when there's newbies on here and they see me flicking my hair, well, <laughs> I'm in my own kitchen. <laughs> You know, and you see me tug with me top, you know, I'm in my own private kitchen and I've got my nails on, but I'm in my own private kitchen. So I do really appreciate you coming and joining us every single Monday. Um, I'm going to be doing catch up. It's half past nine now and Gwen and I will come back at 9.45. So if anybody wants us to ask us any questions, then come back at 9.45 and we'll be sat here with a coffee waiting for you. Otherwise, those who don't join us, I'll see you next week with Verena. Cheerio. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you soon.